In this video, we are going to have a look around Photometric Toolbox, Lighting Analyst Photometric File Reporting and Comparison Tool. When you first open Photometric Toolbox, new users are unsure of where to begin. Well, everything happens when you open Photometric Files. They can be IES, EULUMDAT, or SIBC TM14 format. Let's open a few IES Photometric Files. This can be done from the Instabase, the manufacturer's forum available to all Photometric Toolbox and AGI32 users, or using any photometry on your system using the Select File command. It simply opens a Windows Explorer window. You just tag the files you need. Let's go to the Instabase and grab some files for illustration. Here's one of our Instabase manufacturers. Let's go to another manufacturer. Picking outdoor area lighting luminaires. And one more. OK, we now have three photometric files open. Once we have IES files open in Photometric Toolbox, all of the software tools listed here on the toolbar are at our disposal. Simply check the files you want to utilize at the moment. Let's go ahead and check all three. And let's start by selecting the View tool. This is a great way to get a snapshot of what the Luminaire does. It opens with a 3D photometric web of the light distribution. Notice there's a window open for each of the three photometric files we had checked. If you don't want to use a particular file you have loaded for the planned operation, just uncheck it before selecting the tool. You can have up to 25 photometric files open at a time. You can close all the reports from this button. Similarly, you can close all the photometric files using that button. Let's not do that. One of the strengths of Photometric Toolbox is its reporting tools. Photometric Toolbox has an indoor report, a road or outdoor report, and a flood report. Each report type contains different calculations specific to that industry segment. You can run an indoor report on a flood or a road report on an interior luminaire. The software doesn't really care, and sometimes this can be advantageous as they contain different calculations. Let's look at a road report as we have outdoor roadway sort of luminaires loaded. Notice again, we get a report for each particular photometric file open. The road report contains a variety of information from the descriptive information in the photometric file to a variety of calculated specifics relative to that photometric file. For example, here's the bug rating, B3U0G3. Across the tab top, we can look at the candela array, CU information, polar curves where, where we can select different curves to graph, isolines, half max candela trace, the max candela point, though the information is actually used to compute the IES classification, longitudinal classification as well, and finally we have the LCS information which is the luminaire lumens classifying the bug rating. All right. Let's close all those reports. Photometric Toolbox has a template tool. This is used to create ISO illuminance calculations. Think like a footprint of the light distribution on the ground for any mounting height and luminaire arrangement. So let's go over to this one and let's change the light loss factor to 0.8 and let's make it a scale of 1 to 30 and let's change the mounting height to 26 feet and here we have the foot candle values that are used to compute the isoluminance contours some of them obviously aren't being used don't have to uncheck them they're just not calculated and we can go to how about 2 to 180 degrees back to back okay maybe an arm length of 2 feet 
you get the idea. You can print this information to do old-fashioned paper dolls if you like, print it to scale 1 to 30, or you can export it to DXF. There you can import to CAD if you like. Closing all the template reports. Photometric toolbox can be handy when you have a need to compare similar luminaires on a photometric basis. Select the luminaires and click the compare tool. Let's take one of them out of the equation. Even though we don't have to, we can compare up to three. Here's the compare tool. You can select the report metrics to use for the comparison. In this case, there's a dark sky report. We have a luminaire classification system report, indoor, road, and flood report. You can actually create your own report, if you like, from the report setup button, where you can select from all of the metrics that are actually computed by Photometric Toolbox. Save it as your own name, if you like, and use it repeatedly. The comparison tool also gives us the ability to overlay polar plots in 2D or even compare in 3D. One luminaire in red, one in green, you can see where they overlap. These two obviously are not very comparable. Well, what else can the adventurous do with Photometric Toolbox? With two photometric files selected, let's go out here and select the Convert tool. Manufacturers love the ability to be able to change the luminaire test position. Right here, Modify Test Position. Imagine you have a downlight optic and you want to flip it over and use it as an uplight. Same optic, just different housing. Here in the Convert tool, we can simply give it a tilt of 180 degrees and we're working on a copy of the photometric file. Click OK. Here we have that converted file. Let's look at it in the view tool and sure enough we've flipped it over on its back. We can actually save this as a new IES file. Manufacturers love this. They've just saved the cost of a new photometric test. Likewise, you can also convert from type C photometric format to type B photometric format or change the angles in the photometric web. This is all very techy stuff. These features are of course intended for optical engineers who understand the ramifications of what they're doing. Close those reports. Let's go ahead and close that photometric file without saving it. Select a photometric file. Let's look at the Edit tool. The Edit tool gives you access to all the ingredients in the IES photometric file. This section is best left to the manufacturer or owner of the file. It's easy to get in trouble here. You have a need to convert photometric files from one photometric format to another. For example, from IES to Illumdat. We can do that simply with the Save command. From the pull-down menu, select the format you'd like to save to, you loomed at in this case, and click the Save button. You've now converted the IES format file to the loomed at format. As a last thought, should you have the need to create a new photometric file from scratch by typing in all the data, heaven forbid, you can select the New Photometric File command. There are some pretty hard rules here, so have a peek at the help or give us a shout. Essentially, you'll end up typing in all the information that composes the photometric file. You can do this from a manufacturer's cut sheet, provided there's enough information. If you have some questions, don't hesitate. Give us a shout. So that's Photometric Toolbox. It's a techies tool you can't live without.